Hi folks, hope you're okay. So we're coming to the last of our video on this book. And we've just, well, we spent quite a bit of time on methodology. We could have gone, spent hours and hours, but I just wanted to give you a taste of the book. Like I said, I did many videos on this book, but I've lost my scholarly videos because of the harassment the atheist community gave me. And they won't let me, uh, they won't help me to do my scholarly work. And they won't uh, stop the harassment. Uh, and so I've got to keep doing my scholarly material again. Um, so there we are. Um, I want to just go to uh, page 249. Uh, and it says this about Clement of Rome. First Clement is letter written to the church at Corinth from the church at Rome. Although the letter does not claim to have being written by a particular person it has been attributed to Clement of Rome it is about the same size as Paul's first letter to the church of Corinth he was Clement a few possibilities have been proposed Paul mentioned a Clement in Philippians 4.3 Eusebius Syria AD 6 260-339 reports that this Clement later became the bishop of Rome in AD 92 however he does not make a connection between him and the author of first Clement Shepherd of Hermes uh, end of first century, first half of the second century refers to Clement, whose job is to send books to all the other churches. Irenaeus, AD 140-202, mentions a Clement who became the third bishop of Rome. He adds that Clement has seen and conversed with the apostles. This is perhaps consistent. This is perhaps consistent with the Clement in Philippians, although it is not required. Irenaeus also reports that one Clement was written by the church in Rome to the church in Corinth while Clement was bishop at the former. This is the first clear attribution of first Clement to the bishop of Rome and is consistent with the we passage found in first Clement. Clement of Alexandria 150 AD to 215 attributed the text of one Clement to the apostle Clement and provides numerous quotations from it. Tertullian AD 160 to 20 wrote of a Clement ordained by Peter for the church in Rome but makes no mention of first Clement. A Clement in men is mentioned in Ignatius' letter to the Trillians, Long Recension, who is a helper of Peter. Of interest is that there, in summary, there is a tradition that a man named Clement, who was possibly the one mentioned by Paul, became the bishop of the church in Rome at the end of the first century. This Clement may have been personally known a number of the apostles, perhaps even Peter or Paul. Because there are a number of sources that appear to link Clement to the apostle in some manner, this possible relationship cannot be ignored. On one hand, we cannot be certain of the reliability of the statements made about Clement, since with the possible exception of the Shepherd of Hermes, the sources are fairly late, AD 140 to 325. On the other hand, Irenaeus, Clement of Alexander, Tertullian, and the long version of Ignatius' letter to the Trillians are four sources that link Clement to Peter. I, I mean, basically, I, I mean, I think, Lycona's being over over cautious trying to please the secular thinkers here but I mean there's a masses of material there to show that uh, first Clement is early historical source material about the resurrection of Christ uh, because he was connected to the apostles uh, he's being ever so over cautious in his writing there and that's the that's the beauty of this book he is trying to be as objective as he possibly can um, but there we are, we come to the end of this book, get the book, really good book, awesome book, top scholarly work, I've read this book once, um, maybe twice, um, and I I know this book at the back of my hand, I know I like Honor's work, I've, I've watched all his debates, I've read most of his essays. Uh, and his mate Gary Habermas, I've read Gary Habermas's PhD and I've watched all of Gary Habermas debates that's why the atheists won't debate me because I am, and I'm not just saying it, I am an expert in this field of minimal facts defense of the resurrection I mastered this book and I mastered Gary Habermas and the atheists have forced me to take down uh, my scholarly videos that I use to defend the resurrection using this uh, apologetic and they won't debate me on it but instead they prefer to harass me and threaten me 
that's the 80s for you.